Hello and welcome to Auto-Inform Tool Supplement. My name is Frank Massey and the purpose of these short clips is to introduce some of the simplistic but valuable tools we use to diagnose problems on vehicles. One particular subject which is one of the most challenging is fuel priming. And I'd like to deal with the introduction of this for both diesel and petrol because they have some similarity now. There are two ways in which you can provide priming to a fuel system. One is by means of vacuum and the other is by means of pressure or, or in fact in some cases a combination. The challenge was to develop a tool that achieved the ability to test both types of system. So we began by modifying or developing a gauge which allowed negative measurement up to minus one bar for vacuum systems and positive pressure up to 5 bar. Now there are some exceptions where you may need to go above 5 bar, but 5 bar is, is sufficient. Up to 5 bar where the system is positively supplied. The next challenge was to be able to monitor visually what fuel was being transferred. So we then developed a site block with a large enough passage to allow both measurement and visual examination of the fuel. We've also standardised the coupling so that all of our tools which provide measurement of liquid use these very robust self-sealing couplings. That allows us to do many things. I'll come back to that in a, in a moment. So we can attach this gauge in the system where it's securely sealed and measure vacuum and or pressure. We can also extend the use of this gauge with extension hoses actually into the vehicle because there's some very interesting scenarios where the performance of actual pressure and flow can't be monitored serially accurately in real time and this is where the gauge comes in um, so we'll actually use a serial tool evaluating the data as seen or understood by the ECU in its interpretation and in real time using the gauge example where this gauge can be used in direct petrol systems we now have a situation where we have a positive feed of fuel from a an on-demand pump what we have now is demand regulated priming systems the pump in the tank only provides the work rate demanded by the system so in other words when engines at rest at idle the pressure from the priming pump will be minimal maybe half a bar during high demand that can go to five six seven bar and we need to monitor that very carefully now the high pressure pump on direct petrol and this is just one example of which does have the ability to measure low pressure priming however in their wisdom or otherwise the manufacturers don't always allow you the ability to connect into this circuit so once again we've sourced the component we can now connect if it's not provided, and in some cases they are provided, we can connect the fitting and adapt that into any combination in order that we can measure the performance of the priming system in real time. You'll see some very interesting things as well, that the pressure on these systems is not stable. It's quite erratic, and that's, that's actually correct. But it allows us both to monitor real-time flow, real-time pressure from both petrol, direct petrol systems, conventional manifold injection petrol systems, and of course, diesel common rail. And it's a gauge which we use and rely on very much on a very regular basis.